Well, what's going on, everybody? We're live. So, uh, my name is Dylan. This is Dylan Talks Tone. If you are new to this channel, um, we do guitar tone, guitar tech stuff. And for a long time, we were doing a live at 5 o'clock Eastern Time on Thursday. And I just hadn't been doing it for a while. Um, I just hadn't been doing it for a while because we had internet issues moving into the motorhome, etc. So, uh, I think I pretty much got that sorted now. So we're going to go back to our live FAQ. I mentioned it yesterday at the end of a video that uh, I mentioned it uh, at the end of a video yesterday that this was going to be kind of be like a surprise one uh, if we were going to be able to do this or not. But here we are. So it's pretty awesome. Um, and I want to just tell you about a couple of things that we got going. I don't know if you saw the thumbnail or not, uh, but there's an, another project guitar coming. Um, we talked about it on Patreon the other day. Um, that being said, if you have any uh, super chats or questions or anything you want to hit me with uh, in the comments right here, that would be killer. Um, and I'm just going to give you a little some updates on some stuff that we've got going. Um, catch you up on some projects uh, that's going on and hopefully uh, that ought to do it so um, just say hi to a few people got some regulars here Danny uh, oh here's well, here's a question right away I'll update you on this here let me let me update you on a couple things so one um, <clears throat> the Jackson V is almost ready to give away um, the but remember that we're going to give away at 40,000 subscribers, and I think we're at like 39,200 or something. So hopefully next week we'll be able to give away the Gretsch Junior Jet uh, at 40,000 subscribers, which is really killer. And then we also um, have the Jackson V with the EMGs in it that we're going to give away, which is pretty sweet. Um, we already gave away three sets of pickups this month, which is crazy. Uh, and then the other thing is uh, I don't know if you saw the thumbnail real quick there, but a friend of mine gave me an Epiphone Les Paul. Um, and so what I'm doing with that one is I was kind of allowing everybody over on Patreon, kind of leaving it up to them what we're going to do with this guitar because ultimately Patreon is what allows us to, to do a lot of these projects and give them away. So uh, everybody over on Patreon is kind of having a say in what we're doing with this particular project um so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that uh it's pretty awesome um it's it's gonna be a cool one it's an epiphone um les paul uh with two humbuckers in it i'm not gonna do a bigs b on it or anything like that we're gonna keep this thing reasonable uh, but people have been maybe suggesting some higher output pickups maybe some maybe a kill switch maybe some some other stuff so i think it'd be kind of fun um Kind of excited about it so um, and then the other thing that we've got going hopefully this month I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to use patreon money uh, to buy probably two um, two uh, lace alumitones and I want I want to buy one to take apart and I want to buy one to give away so hopefully that will be a thing uh, so we've got that going as well. So I'm really excited about the various little projects and builds that we've got going right now. To, and then I've got uh, actually <clears throat> next week, um, I will start probably next week or the week after. I've got to look at my schedule. Um, but we will probably start the final assembly on a build that's actually going to Eastern Europe. Uh, it's a Dylan Custom Guitars build that I'm going to share with you all as we build it because that's um, that's when we're building in-house. So that doesn't have anything to do with any of the giveaway stuff, but I'm going to share that build with you anyway. So I'm, I'm really excited about that also. That's a cool guitar. It's a, it's a hardtail Strat, and I think we're going to put P90s in it. It's going to be a really neat guitar. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Still working out some of the... Um, details color 
you know, pick guard color and that sort of stuff with the owner. And of course he's in Eastern Europe, so it's like 12 hours ahead of here. So right now it's four in the morning, five in the morning there. So um, we're, you know, it's like I email him, then I don't hear from him until the next day, like that sort of thing. So anyway, really fun, super fun stuff. You, you guys are gonna see that as well. Uh, let's see here. Let's let's go through some of these questions. There's a couple of them here I have this problem where when I touch any metal on my strat the buzz goes down Should I use shielding or is it a ground issue? Okay, so when you um, Touch your strings or anything metal uh, And it gets quieter That's what it's supposed to do um, When you let go and some hum comes back that's what it's supposed to do um, because you're becoming part of the ground and so therefore you're you're quieting it down and that's exactly what it's supposed to do uh, so it's actually acting perfect that's actually what it's supposed to perfect perfectly um, hyped, hyped for the Gretsch giveaway I agree my name is also Dylan and notifications stand out from this channel because I see my own name hey that's pretty cool dude uh, that's really cool I'd love to see a video where you explain how the pickups on a five-string Rickenbacker 4003 work. So I get a lot of requests for videos about um, wacky pickups. Rickenbacker's probably at the top of the list. Um, that might be something that we could do with some Patreon money and buy that stuff and take it apart. I don't, I'm not 100% familiar with those. Um, and so I would rather not make a video about something I don't know about. I mean, I, I just, I don't know about them. So I wouldn't want to just say stuff just to say stuff. You know what I mean? Um, but maybe I will ask about it. Uh, maybe I will find some help on that. Maybe it won't just be me. And we'll look into that. Because um, we do have a few... We, have, we do have a few things. Um, we do have a few pickup requests that we get. I'm just not familiar with them enough to, to tell you, really. Um, let's see. What is my all-time favorite guitar? That's easy. Uh, 59, Les Paul Jr. Um, I like the early Les Paul Jr. because um, Les Paul Jr. or Les Paul Special. I actually like the special. I like the early specials because the neck is still, the neck pickup is still close to the neck before they moved it um, because I'm a P90 guy. So that's my favorite guitar of all time. I built myself one, but I would like to actually own a real one. Um, that's what I would like, like to have. If I could own one vintage guitar, that's what it would be. Um, I've been eyeing a Reverend Eastsider S. It's a Tele Strat hybrid with a Strat trim. Dude, uh, any opinion on this brand or guitar? Uh, Reverends are amazing. Ken Haas makes some of the coolest guitars. And I, man, I, I would really like to go visit him and actually, um, and actually see that stuff. I really like Reverend. The only Reverend I've actually had a lot of time with um, actually belonged to John Bollinger. He had me put P90s in it. Um, most of the pickups, I think, still are Artec pickups. So, you know, like Epiphone style and budget sort of pickups. So they can benefit from pickup replacement. Um, but they are quality guitars. They are really, they play great. They're awesome, actually. Um, really, really, really good. Uh, let's see. Have you announced the pickup naming contest? Yes, uh, we have. And we actually, it's named on the website. So we announced that uh, earlier this week. And we are calling them um, uh, Quattros. Kind of like the Audi. That's where that's coming from. Um, can a single coil tele pickup reach some jazz master tones? Uh, oh. That would be difficult because the shape of the pickup is so different. I actually put a Jazzmaster pickup in the neck position of a Tele one time, 
and it was amazing. That guitar is it's one of our builds. So that guitar is in Richmond, Virginia, I think, and that guitar is really, really cool. Um, I would just put a Jazzmaster pickup in it. That would be amazing. Um, that'd be really good. Your favorite guitar would have to be the Squire that you got gifted. Dude, um, I don't have it with me, so it would probably be like the middle of August before I have this guitar in my possession, because we're in Tennessee right now. But I, my favorite, well, my first guitar, my first real electric guitar is a Strat that my dad gave me when I was like 13. Um, it's a Japanese one, and I would give it, I would totally, I agree. Um, what do you think is the most useful pedal? Tuner. I know that's a boring answer. Uh, a tuner, and then if you're asking, like, since that's a cop-out answer, um, the non-cop-out answer would probably be... Uh, my favorite overdrive pedal... So if you have a good amp that's got some decent headroom, like 40 watts tube amp, for example, and then put like a fender, like a fender tube amp, then put like a analog man king of tone in front of it. That's my favorite. That would be my favorite. Have you done a video on coil splitting? Yes, we have done lots of them. Uh, do you have any opinion on the Ibanez Iceman tone wise? Depends which one you get. Um, there's a bunch of different ones. I've seen them with lipstick pickups in them, I've seen them with strap pickups in them. Um, you know, it kind of depends on which one. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, Brian Lorimer asks, um, he has a, a Dan Electro with stacked pots in it, and there's no variation in them. Yeah. So, taper on stacked pots always is kind of terrible. Um, I do not have a recommendation, honestly. I have not found a good taper in a stacked pot. That is a tough one. Um, that's a really tough one. Can you consider doing a series of wiring mods like the David Gilmore strap mod, Brian May's red? Yeah, we, that's on my list actually. Um, and actually, well, another thing that's on my list, everybody's been asking for this. So we get lots of emails. Um, we get people send us emails like every day. I get like dozens of emails a day um, and I cannot keep up with them all the number one thing that people ask me for is wiring diagrams like hey can I can you send me a wiring diagram obviously I really hate to sound like a jerk I don't want to sound like a jerk but I don't have it's not what I do I don't really have time to do tech support for for builds you know what I mean it's hard to do that um, now when we when you buy products from me and we we're putting something together that's different but but to just be like hey i need help with a guitar build it's really hard so to keep up with that you know what i mean so what i'm going to do is over on our patreon page i am going to upload i haven't figured out how to do it i should look at that tonight um i'm going to upload a bunch of wiring diagrams that i use on a regular basis um and some of the more popular ones like the gilmore and like use it putting a bridge tone on a strat and you know some of those more popular ones that people want to know about all the time um and even coil splitting and coil tapping and all that kind of stuff i think we're going to go ahead and and put a bunch of those wiring diagrams on patreon um so that you can so that you can have that um because it's difficult it's so difficult to keep up with everybody asking um just wanted to plug your pickups dude i'm glad you like those you know um so Ivan here, he's a he's actually over on Patreon and he um ordered a loaded pickguard from us with for a strap. And he's in Canada. And uh no, I, I appreciate that. Um Have you checked out the Bugera V twenty two? I used to have one. Actually it was really good. Um for the money, I mean it's really good. Let's see do a strat wiring mod series yeah so those are all that's a thing i, I want to do we did a telly one right we did the vintage to the modern telly stuff we actually still need to do a couple more telly wiring videos 
but uh, I don't have a telly right now, so I guess I need to build myself one. Um, best RC car brand. So, my experience with RC cars is different than the RC car that I have now. Um, I have more experience with 8th scale nitro buggies. Um, and I had a Lozy before, and I had um, a Team Associated, um, and they were awesome. But they were they were um, eighth scale nitro buggies. Now I'm getting into this electric stuff, which is really super fun. Right now I have an Axial Wraith uh, tenth scale truck that I really really like for rock crawling. And I think the next one on my list, I, I, I told myself I wasn't gonna buy another car here very soon, but it, it's probably gonna happen. Um, I think I want an Arma Creighton, so I can jump it and do crazy stuff, you know. Um, yeah. So there's your RC car answer. Great stuff on the wiring diagrams. Yeah, man. Yeah, there's a ton. You're right. There are a ton of wiring diagrams on Google. Um, there are some really good resources for that stuff. Um, I'm going to share some of the stuff that I think really works well um, over on Patreon. I think that would, you know, and the stuff that I use. I think the stuff that I use every day, I, I want to share that stuff. Um, is a 40 watt Weller soldering iron hot enough for guitar wiring? Yes. If you go to um, the links, there a lot of times like underneath our videos, there's a bunch of links. Any of our soldering videos, there's a link to an Amazon link to a Weller soldering iron that's 40 bucks. It's the one I use every day. In fact, I was at Lucky Dog Guitars the other day, and he uses the exact same one. Dude, it works awesome. Uh, it works awesome. Mike Pinion wants, says he could send me a telly for a mod show and tell. Um, Here's the problem, Mike. I have space for exactly three guitars. Next week, I'm going to have four. And so it's going to turn into a problem. I need to give away a guitar because I don't have enough room for all of the giveaway guitars. So we need to hit 40,000 subscribers so I can give away a guitar. I do not have room for more than three and again, I'm going to have another one next week. So, yeah. Uh, otherwise, I would, I've would i actually had two or three emails, thank you, from viewers um, wanting to send me guitars to do projects on, uh, which is so amazing. I love it. Um, but there's two problems. One is I'm on the move. Last night we were in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Tonight we're in Nashville. Um... I think tomorrow we're going to be in Jackson, Tennessee. Saturday we're going to be in Memphis, Tennessee. So it's very difficult for you to send me stuff, number one. Number two, I don't have room. So it's like one has to go before another one can come, right? So that's why we got to hit 40000 so I can give away this guitar so I don't have to have an extra one. I actually brought the bo shipping box and everything with me. I found a spot for the shipping box, which is huge. But anyways, so that's, that's there. Um... Let's see. What are your thoughts on Orange Amps? They're cool, man. They got their own sound for sure. Um, you know, for sure. Uh, let's see. Dude, a, okay, yes. Order a set of flat sixes and put them in a baritone telly. That would be amazing. Um... That soldering station isn't available, huh? Here, hang on. If you guys are having problems finding that soldering station, I'm going to find it for you right now because it's really good. It works good. Weller soldering station. Give me one second. And YouTube doesn't like me to put links in here. So you're going to have to, like, copy it. You won't be able to click on it. Uh, so you'll have to, like, copy and paste the link into another browser window but here you go sir I got you um, here's the thing 
I know JC says just look it up on Amazon and find the link, but um, please do me a favor. Anytime we share Amazon links, if you would use them, that would be great um, because it does support the channel in a small way. Like I only make like a few cents, but it adds up and I do appreciate it. So um, the reason I share Amazon links, oh, and it does let you click on that link. Um, the reason I share Amazon links is because it does help out the channel and I do appreciate it very, very much. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's it, I'm gonna call 900 my closest friends and get them to subscribe so you can get that Gretch out of there. Dude, that would be a wonderful help. I would appreciate it very, very much. Um, yeah, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, man, it's gonna be a cool guitar. It, it is a cool guitar. Actually, I've been playing it a little bit. Um, I also noticed that I can't spell. Yeah. That's okay. We're going to fix all that afterwards. What about ordering a guitar from Guitar Center? You. So um, that's what I did, actually. Um, so here's where Patreon really helps out with this particular situation. Because, for example, the Jackson V that we bought... Um, the video where we went and we bought that, um, that was Patreon money. I actually took Patreon money. Uh, well, it wasn't all pay. Some of it was mine, I guess, but most of it was Patreon money. And we just went to Jack's, uh, went to Guitar Center, picked up a guitar, did all the mods. We'll make a few videos with it, and then I'll then I'll send it to you, uh, whoever wins it. That's exactly the way I want to do it because then I can kind of be in control of how long the guitar is around. Um, that really does help and then I don't have um, so here's the other thing how we handle our mail a lot of people ask us all the time how do you handle your mail so um, our home base is in Georgia and my mother-in-law Leslie's mom um, takes all of our mail and she sends it to us like twice a month you know I just tell her this is where we're gonna be send it here you know um, and that's what we do with guitar parts too so um, you know, if I need, you know, to stock up on guitar parts for pickups and stuff, uh, I have them sent to her, then she packages everything up and sends it to me a couple times a month. Well, obviously, as you can imagine, um, it would be kind of inconsiderate of me to allow a bunch of guitars to pile up at her place and wait for me a couple months to get back and, you know what I mean? So, this whole Patreon, use that money, go to Guitar Center, buy it, use it for a project, give it to you that's the way we're going to do it um it, it works really really well uh it's been i think it, that's what we're going to do do you recommend disconnecting the tone pot from a tele neck pickup so three-way tele switching um does not allow you to 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 unhook the tone pot from one pickup alone if your tone pickup if your tone on your tele pickup is real mushy um, you might want to try a new pickup there or lower it a little bit um, and see if you can get it to brighten up just a little um, or you could try a 500 uh, K pot in that guitar 500 K tone pot um, that that might help as well but you can't usually do it separately um, it doesn't allow you the wiring doesn't allow you to do that Thinking about putting a center punch in my Jackson Soloist, will that coil split be able to get close to a Fender neck pickup sound? Yeah, okay, so, uh, Jackson Soloist, you're gonna put it in the what position? Which position, are, yeah, if you put it in the neck position and then you coil split it, it will sound very, very, very much like a Strat single coil or a Tele single coil, very much so. That was the original intent when I built that pickup in the first place years ago. That was the whole idea and the concept behind that pickup. Conversely, if you put it in the bridge position and coil split it, you'll get a very good telly sound out of that. Um, not totally, but it will lean that way and it will work very well and be very, uh, you know, versatile that way. No, that's killer. Um, do you have a Bourne's pot link? Let's see. Do you know anything about how long it takes to dry black walnut? Uh, I don't because I'm not a wood expert to tell you the truth. 
Um, I don't know much about it. I have friends that do, and so I just ask them, and I go off of what they tell me. I'm not into wood that much. Um, so, yeah. Um, Bourne's Pots. Give me one second. I'm going to show you the Bourne's Pots that I like. Bourne's. I like these ones. See right here. Now they have them in 500, and they have them in 250, and this is four of them. But this link will at least get you in the ballpark, and then you can choose the quantity that you want. Um, but I really, really like. Uh, these they're I think they're 15 percent tolerance which is pretty good and they're really smooth really light to the touch kind of my favorite ones um, actually I've rewired my so yes you can do that um, to think of how you can do that you just have to you have to take the tone the tone pot wire and run it straight to the switch where the telly where the bridge pickup hooks up. I guess that's how you would do that. Um, can you explain a treble bleed circuit and where to get the parts? Yeah, so basically a treble bleed circuit is a capacitor like this, capacitor being at the top like where my hand is, and then there's a resistor soldered across it like this, and then it's soldered across from the output to the middle of the, the volume pot and basically what it does is it bleeds off it's a filter so as the resistance gets closer to zero it bleeds off more of the low frequencies leaving more high frequencies so that when you turn the volume down your tone gets tinnier. That's basically it. I don't like them. I don't use them. They're, I am not a fan. Um, I think they get too thin. Um, but you can mess around with the... I, I don't have a source. We used to sell them. I don't really have a source for the parts for them. And that's why I stopped selling them. Because it was really hard to get the capacitor that you're supposed to use. Um, yeah, so, anyway. What can make a home humbucker noisy? Uh, if it's a cheap one, they can be noisy. Uh, if the wine count is off from one pickup, one coil to the other, they can be noisy. Um, a lot of hand-wound ones, or a lot of machine-wound ones that are wound really tight, that have, um, high capacitance can be noisy. Um, yeah, I'm about to do a treble bleed circuit while they're where they're in series. Okay, so yeah, there there's a, there's actually three different popular treble bleed circuits. One is the one where I'm telling you where there is the capacitors at the top, and there's a resistor that goes across the two legs, and then those two legs get hooked to the volume pot. There's another one where it's just a capacitor by itself. Then there's another one where you put the resistor and the capacitor in series and hook this end of the resistor to the volume pot and this end of the capacitor to the volume pot. There are a couple of verification or uh, variations there. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, we covered just a few minutes ago, actually, how I get mail. So, my mother-in-law sends it to me. Um, yeah, so that, that works pretty well. Um, it's a... It's a I'm not a big fan. I, I'm not a big fan of treble bleeds, like I said. I think a lot of people think that, like, it's a tone suck when you turn the volume down. But I really like, and the, again, this is just a player opinion, you know. I really like when you turn the volume down, especially when the pickup's really gnarly, like a P90. And it has that really butt, like gnarly bite. You know, all the knobs are on 10, and 
it's got a really gnarly bite it's real mid-range pokey and it's just just super gnarly and then you turn it down to eight or seven and it really sweetens up like that mid-range poke goes away and it kind of smooths out um, and people will say that's tone getting sucked out of it and I'm like no that's just the tone changing it's just you having more with to do with your guitar there's more sound there's more sounds to play with that's how I look at it um, I that's why I like a Les Paul Jr. Les Paul Jr. with a P90 just a single P90 um, 500k pots and a .047 cap in my opinion is the perfect guitar I am of the opinion that every person at some point in their life should spend some time owning a single pickup guitar because that teaches you how much all of that can work together. For everybody that just plays with all their to volume and tone knobs on 10 all the time, get a single pickup Esquire or Les Paul Jr. style guitar or take the neck pickup out of one of your tellies and and really learn what that volume and tone can do. Like playing playing a Les Paul Jr. through like a 15 watt amp or like a Mark V Marshall or something like that. Um, five watt, you know, five watt, 15 watt amp with no pedals, just the two volume knobs, single pickup. You could just learn a lot about uh, you learn a lot about what the actual functionality of all this stuff is. It's not just a volume knob, it's not just a tone knob. And when you put a volume mod in something, what are you actually doing? What did you start with? Everybody's like, well, that's a modification I should do. Like, I need to get, you know, I don't know, chrome wheels on my truck. Like, because everybody else has chrome wheels. Like, no, it actually changes how the guitar works. And understanding all of that it's really really valuable really valuable um but they are yeah jeff s says but they are easy to try it's true um get some alligator clips clip it in give it a shot see if you like it experiment around that's where it, that's where playing with this stuff is fun too for sure um or okay uh ol says put it on a treble bleed on a, on a push pull that's very interesting so that might be kind of fun because um, you could put your volume at say seven or so and then have the treble bleed on a push pull and it would give you completely different, two completely different sounds. I like that. That's a really neat idea. Um, having a hard time finding lefty 250 audio taper pots. Dude, that's for real. That's a tough one. Um, that is a tough one. Dylan MD says, I just got a refret on my strat. I'm getting buzzing only on the low E and A strings, and the action is already high. Slight relief. Um, I would just do a fundamental guitar setup on it. I would check the neck relief. Uh, I would check your nut height. Check your action, you know, your string height. Um, and if you're still getting buzzing, I would take it back and have them fix it. Um, but just do a basic setup on it. Do it in that order. Do your neck relief first. Check your nut height. Check your string height. And then if if it's still not working, take it back and make them fix it. There's probably a high spot in there somewhere. Um, do dummy coils work? So uh, I don't care about them. I don't think they make that big a I don't think they're worth the trouble or the money. I'm just going to say that. However, somebody just brought this up in a video. Uh, I, I, we handled this at the end of yesterday's video, actually. And I think I'm going to make one. And we're going to do some videos about them. Um, yeah, we're going to do a video. We're going to do a video about it. And we're going to talk about it a little bit more. Uh, so, yeah. That's the thing. Um... If reversing an audio taper pot is an option for me, which do you recommend? My favorite is those Borns, man. I like the taper in them. Um, but running them backwards will be kind of funny. Uh, running a backwards audio taper will be weird. Um, because it will mean 
that it will turn down really fast from 10 to 7. And then it will turn down a long time from 7 to 1. It'll be really slow. Right? Is that right? Yes, I think that's right. So that's the thing. It, it is possible you could do it. Um, you'd have to try it though, for sure. Cool, man. You guys, this has been super fun. Um, it's been about 40 minutes. Usually that's about how long I last with these things or you know how long we, we spend doing them. Uh, I just wanted to um, get back in the habit of doing the Thursday night at five o'clock thing. I know that this was super spontaneous and we did not. Uh, typically, I what I'm trying to do is on Patreon on Wednesdays, I make a post for everybody over on Patreon so that they can ask questions and make sure that we feature them on Thursday. Um, but yesterday, I realized it was Wednesday and I was like, wait a minute, I can do lives again. So, um, this was just kind of a spontaneous one. But next week, we will be probably back to our regularly scheduled Thursday at 5 o'clock. We'll make sure that we get on Wednesday, give everybody a chance to ask a bunch of questions ahead of time, be a little bit better prepared, um, and that sort of stuff. So we will do it. Um, you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out, and I appreciate everybody. Uh, make sure you do check out patreon.com slash Tone. Uh, make sure that you find 900 of your friends and get them to subscribe because then we're going to give away a guitar just like that other dude. Thank you. That was a great idea. Everyone should go find 900 friends and subscribe. And um, yeah, man. If everyone that watched today found 900 friends and had them subscribe, I would give more than one guitar away. I will say that. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you soon, okay?